Welcome to Rehash. On the internet, we're all news is old news. We bring you the best and worst of what's happening today. Hi everyone, my name is Drag TV, and welcome to Rehash. Thanks so much to Drag TV who provided our intro. If you'd like to be awesome like him, link in the description to where you can provide an intro in exchange for a meaningful spotlight at the end of any of our episodes. All right, so we've got a couple of newsy type whatevers that we're gonna try to buzz through really quickly. Um, but I'm gonna be a nice guy because I was mean to you yesterday, and you're gonna get to go first with your stories today. We just just one hand, and then we're back back and forth. Promise, promise. Okay. You hear that, Freedom Family? I get to go first. So in today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about Jimmy Fallon, unfortunately ripping his finger off. And wouldn't it be awesome if I had some kind of awesome segue so that uh, my story had something to do with yours? Do you? No, not really. Yeah. My next story has to do with a woman who refused to save her child from a car because she didn't want to mess it up. <laughs> and you had a news attack, whatever? Yeah, I'm actually surprised you aren't covering it, but I wanted to talk about a Nazi making a surprise appearance in a Donald Trump campaign ad. I don't really want to be the Donald Trump. I'm not the Donald Trump guy, okay? okay. I'm just saying. Hey. Yeah, man. Last and final story is a woman who says, Thanks, Obama, because she got caught counterfeiting. Jesus, Tennessee, you're making me look bad. Come on. So, you, I'm going to let you have the first story. Just talk about it. Talk about it. Hey, your all right, let's go. So, Jimmy Fallon, the host of The Tonight Show, Unfortunately, had a minor incident. Uh, when he was in his off time, he was at his home. His wife had recently purchased a nice little rug, a braided rug, and he was like for his head. No, for the for the, the kitchen floor. Oh, that kind of rug. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, so not a Donald Trump rug. Oh, I'm oh, again. Sorry. You're, you're moving yourself. You're digging yourself a hole. So he was in the kitchen, and unfortunately, he had slipped on the rug, which he said he now hates and he despises and he plans on burning or, you know, sacrificing, or what have you. And unfortunately, he slipped and fell, and where his ring finger was, he hit it on the uh, the table or the cabinet. I'm not sure actually where he did oh, it. Oh, so he kept going in the ring. Yeah. Ah! And it, it completely ripped his finger off, except where the skin was holding it. Ouch. You can yeah. tell that neither one of us is married right now because we keep pointing to our right <laughs> hand talking or about this left story. Left hand, right hand, <laughs> toe, whatever. So the, the gist of the story is, is pretty insane, though. So for the most part, he had to go to the hospital. They said they wouldn't do it, so they had to go to a microsurgeon where they then took a vein. Out is of this just like a really short surgeon? Maybe. Maybe it's like a tiny surgeon with like tiny tools that like does tiny surgery. That would make a cute YouTube video. <laughs> Sorry, moving on. Anyway, he walked in with cowboy boots. He was a really nice guy, he says, and he removed the vein from his foot, put it into his finger, and now his finger is healing uh, pretty well. Nice. But I feel pretty bad for the guy, so hopefully he recovers pretty well. Speaking of feeling bad, I feel bad for this kid. Uh, the Singapore Times is reporting on uh, a mother who decided, you know, if I save my kid, it's going to ruin my car. That was actually a decent segue. Anyway, this is personally, for me, despicable. Um, I have never been a parent. However, I've been a doggy parent, um, which is nowhere near the same thing. I'm not saying it is. But I am saying that if I, am, if I would be willing to do something as a doggy parent, I would expect any self-respecting parent parent to yeah. do. Well, I wouldn't consider that person a self-respecting parent. <laughs> I, I, I mean, probably not, no. But come hell or high water, I would definitely, you know, break into the vehicle, be it for a pet or even uh, my child. If even, I if you had to, even if you had to scratch up your pretty new BMW? Of course, it's just a material thing. There, there's plenty of glass in the world. There's only one of your offspring. Unless you have two. Or unless you have two or three or four or five or seven. So my question to the Freedom Family is, at what point would you say it's not worth saving somebody? Now, as far as who the person is, I don't know, make somebody up. Your Uncle Steve, the one who talks to himself at Thanksgiving or Christmas or whatever. At what point would you decide, you know, it's not worth it? For me personally, the, the chances of death for me have to be 75% or greater. Yeah. For me to not be like, ah, I wish I you. <laughs> right. So, let us know in the comment section down below. Um, and then, uh, that was... It was my story, so you go next. All right. Uh, I said earlier, I'm surprised you didn't cover it. Uh, uh, here we go. Nazi makes a surprise appearance in Donald Trump campaign ad. So I actually saw this one and decided not to cover it because I don't want to be the Donald Trump guy. Um, and not only that, but, you know, this show airs all over the world, not just in the U.S. Though it's, I guess, kind of, you know, the U.S. presidential election is kind of world news, um, but it's kind of not. Anyway... Uh, I, I'm hoping for this to be a more of a global show. 
But since you freaking brought it up! Oh. Go yes, on. yes. Um, on a uh, on hashtag um, Make America Great Again, <laughs> wasn't that it? Yeah. Um, there was a campaign, uh, or there was a campaign like thing. Yeah. And one of the elements was Nazi soldiers marching into Donald Trump's face with hashtag Make America Great Again, and this is all superimposed over the American flag. Now, this is either a someone on his team who's performing the most awesome troll of all time, <laughs> yeah. or B, a massive blunder on their part. And I am awaiting them to say that it was symbolic of how evil forces bow down to great men, or just, I, I think they're yeah. going to try to save this yeah. somehow yeah. by spinning it, but it was a massive blunder yeah, I agree. Anything else to add? No, I mean, I, apart from... So you kind of just made me cover it, didn't you? I, I, I just wanted to say something, and maybe the fact that you would cover it would like make you the Donald Trump guy, and I was like, yeah, you know... Exactly. Just, you keep talking. Exactly. Yeah. You're fired! Oh. And now the most important of all news. Comments for our previous videos! Let's go! I'll drive us there. <laughs> Comments! First comment comes from Heroic Gaming, who says, Hashtag rehash, I asked this before, but do you think Freedom will ever give us fan funding? Yes, as soon as it is available to the network as a whole, we will turn it on. Unfortunately, because the network is based in a country that has not been allowed to have it, we can't turn it on for everybody because we're based here. But as soon as YouTube gets around to it, we will do that. So put some pressure on them. Yeah. Yep. So comment number two comes from Sykes TV. Oh, is this you? No, not really. I wanted to cover the comment because my personal channel is real Sykes. For those of you that don't know who are viewing the video, Sykes is my last name. Ah, oh. so I really liked it. Sykes TV he says, never give up your dreams. Indeed, I do agree. Don't ever get your dreams up. Yeah, right. That's pretty cool. much it. Comment number three comes from Captain Raptor X, who says, why does my money Say, unverified May 2015. Unverified means that we've made our list, but we haven't checked it twice. So, that's why. Um, that, almost, that was like a Santa Claus reference. That was a Santa Claus <laughs> reference, yes. <laughs> right, um, that just means that, you know, we have the numbers, we're just, we haven't double checked them yet. Uh, and then comment number four comes from GG Gamers, who says, what's with the red lines at the bottom of the screen? P.S. I made you guys an awesome intro. Cool. Thank you. Um, okay, the red lines at the bottom of the screen, it's an experimental feature that we're playing around with. It's a topic switcher bar. If you get bored with the topic, just click the next red line. It should work with the old player and the new. Um, we're we're kind of playing with it. Uh, we don't know if it's going to be a permanent fixture. If you like it, let us know in the comment section down below, and we will continue to use it. But now we get to go talk about the, the partner. partner. Yeah. Today's channel spotlight. We're talking about drag TV. Now I will be honest. Drag TV is, is not my kind of channel. Like this is not necessarily something that I would subscribe to. Though he's got a lot of elements that I can see why other people would. Right. Um, as far as his channel trailer goes, it's a it's only like 54 seconds long. Um, I think it makes a decent case for why to subscribe, but I think it could be better. Right. So, I mean, he has playlists, he has the basic necessities of what a normal YouTube content creator has, but I feel like I'm a broken record. I see a lot of people using white in the text for their thumbnails. Now, white <clears throat> is good to an extent. Like, I use white in some of my thumbnails, but is you just, there's you've a got color colors screen. behind it that's yes. going to make white hard to read? Then bad idea. Yes. Um, and he's got some really strong uh, ideas with his thumbnails. Some things I like, some things I don't like. Um, and really, as, as the main things, and we covered some of this yesterday, but the main things that I would say is trying to make sure if you have text, make it minimal, make it as large as possible, because when it's scaled down to mobile size or when it's scaled down to the smallest size that people are going to see it, um, you don't want it to be a jumbled mess. Yeah, like he has a video right here called Everything Wrong with Prince Royce, back it up. That's the perfect thumbnail. I mean, the background, it, it makes it easy to see the white text. And I back it up disagree. Again. Do you really? Because he's got people in the thumbnail, but you can't see their faces. All right. So it, it, for me personally, 
you know, if you're going to include faces, make sure you're able to see them. Um, just me personally. Yeah, well, I mean, that's um, cool. he's, But he does have some, like, uh, he it, all of the vines that he releases, his own vines, he puts together in compilations. Um, those thumbnails are very strong. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, I, I do agree with that one. Um, and But it's one of those things that, honestly, without actually sitting down to him and having a discussion, I couldn't describe, so I'm going to stop talking. And so, yeah. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would rate this channel birthday cake. Yeah. Because... Ooh, birthday cake. Okay. Because it's something that you can definitely overindulge on. You probably, you know, I, I can see how people would get lost in this channel. Like a birthday cake. Shut up, I like cake. Uh, Oreos are better. Thank you so much to everyone who's provided us an intro. I believe this is episode 28 of this show. Oh! Let us know in the comment section down below what you want us to do for episode number 100. Also, don't forget to subscribe down below. And, um... Also, there should be, like, a little eye somewhere above Zach's head um, if you want to check out uh, a previous episode. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. Also, be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. See you guys later. Bye, Freedom Family.